Hey there guys, what is going on? Season 4 of Modern Warfare is well and truly upon us here, and we've been gifted a fantastic new assault rifle in the CR56 AMAX, and it might just be one of those weapons that definitely competes for the best weapon in the game. I did make a video yesterday featuring the top 10 best weapons in Modern Warfare right now, and I'm thinking that the CR56 AMAX is definitely up there as one of the best in the game. So in this best class setup in Modern Warfare video, we're going to be taking a look at the best class setup for the CR56 AMAX in my opinion. But just before we do talk about it here, let's try and get this one to 30 likes. The support from you guys has continued to be absolutely fantastic recently. We did hit 1,900 subscribers overnight, meaning we're only about 92 away from 2,000, which means we're going to have a giveaway very very soon so make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on if you do want to be a part of that and you don't want to miss out on any of the other content coming up soon so let's jump straight into our class here with the cr56 amax so as I said, we did make a couple of videos featuring this particular weapon very recently, and we did actually drop a tactical nuke with just a random class setup, just like some completely random attachments that didn't actually make sense, and we still managed to pull off a tac nuke. So the CR56 AMAX might actually be a proper, proper weapon in this game. At the moment, we are running in the sidearm slot, the M19 equipped out like this, basically just because it looks cool. The tactical suppressor doesn't increase our range or anything, but it does look excellent. The lightweight, again, the, not the best barrel, but... I mean, it looks pretty cool with this particular skin. Mostly we're using this to just spray people down at close range, so we're not really fussed about our attachments here. Again, the stipple grip tape isn't super great when we are just hip firing, doesn't aim down sight speed at all, but, you know, it's just one of those weapons that's pretty good at close range, and that's all we really care about. In terms of our perks, we're running EOD, Ghost, and Tracker here, just for the usual benefits that we do get, like explosive resistance, staying off of those UAVs, which is really important for those close range maps and those longer ranges as well. Just staying off the UAVs is, of course, a very, very, important factor in most of these games. Tracker also in the third perk slot lets us see enemy footprints and also see enemy death markers and it does hide the location of enemy death markers that we do kill. Basically this makes us very stealthy and allowed to move around the flanks of the map and control the map very very easily. In the lethal slot we usually roll with the C4 on most of our aggressive classes which this one is in particular and the tactical is usually the stim shot as well, just because getting that extra chance per life is very, very strong. Right, so in terms of our attachments for the CR56 AMAX, we are set up like this. The compensator or the monolithic suppressor, which we have not unlocked yet, are both very, very good options. With the compensator, we do get recoil control, and the monolithic suppressor, of course, does give us that sound suppression, and about a 10 to 15% increase to our damage range. Either of these are good options as we choose them. For basically most weapons, I'm typically going with the monolithic suppressor, or will at least when I unlock it, so the compensator will do for now. In the barrel slot we do have the XRK Zodiac S440 for the damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. Again, just another one of those barrels that does keep us on target, makes us shoot a little bit further and a little bit faster. Very, very powerful option. Basically allows us to control our recoil very, very nicely because without this barrel, it does have a little bit of natural kick, which can stop us from getting some kills sometimes. But man, just like a three shot kill, about 40 meters to the chest is very, very strong. And outside of that range, you're looking at four or five shot kills, which is pretty standard for most weapons. Similarly to this, this does perform a lot like an AK-47 with a lot of sort of horizontal-ish recoil combined with the commando foregrip that is reduced significantly with the recoil stabilization that we get from this. Then we're taking the 45 round mags just for the extra ammo capacity and allowing us to go on those longer streaks with the total ammo capacity of about 150, I think, from memory. So it'll be 45 plus 45 plus 45, so 135 total, I believe. And lastly, in the last slot, we do have the no stock for the movement speed and aim down sight speed. This is definitely one of the best attachments for most assault rifles in the game, as essentially we do want to be more aggressive. Basically, with the movement speed and aim down sight speed bonuses that we do get from the no stock, it turns us into like a pseudo SMG, allowing us to move around the map more easily, and it does let us compete at those medium ranges as well. So it's a great combination of sort of agility and actual damage at range. So in terms of a class setup here, we're mostly focused on this being decent at range, like pretty much effective at all ranges, like a three shot kill at close range, medium range, and most long ranges is very, very powerful. So we're going to jump into some gameplay here, talking about the pros and cons of this particular weapon, because there are a lot of pros and not too many cons. All right, so some of you may know that with my live commentaries, my performance in-game drops by about a million percent, just because my brain's focused on two things at the same time, and that just doesn't work. So we are trying to find a decent spot to sit in so we can actually sort of commentate and shoot people at the same time, which is always going to be good. These ranges in particular here, like from here to that wall there, are always going to be very, very powerful for... There is somebody in this room. We're going to pull out our pistols. Ow. <laughs> Spooky. 
I'm still pretty convinced he's in here. Is he in the... There was footprints here. There definitely was somebody in here. Alright. Okay. Wasn't expecting to get snuck up on like that, but this particular assault rifle might actually be one of the best in the game and definitely competes as some of the best weapons in the game. Like, you're competing with your AK-47s, your assault rifles, your M4s and stuff like that, and at this point, I think this might be one of the best. Just your damage at range, just your three-shot kill at most consistent ranges and stuff like that is very, very important. We're going to get pushed from the side here, which is a little bit unfortunate as we... No. Okay. I was just looking at that guy for about 30 seconds, and he just watched us and then took about 30 seconds to kill us as well. And again, this is just one of those maps where sometimes you do very well at those sort of close-range engagements if you are playing in the right way, and other times you just get picked off, and it's just very, very annoying. But because we are live commentating, basically, nothing's going to go right for us. And that's exactly what we're after there. That was a nice little kill there. It does take a little while to get those sights up, so you do have to play... Almost as though you're sort of just aiming places already. We do want to take care of that claim wall that's no longer there. Yeah, you do have to get those sights up quite early to be able to be very, very effective with this. As it doesn't seem like the combination of a combination of... The no stock does quite enough for our aim down sight and sort of sprint to fire speed, but I mean, we're doing the best we can do really. We'll take this shotgun. So which disgusting human being is running the 725 still? Get an actual life. Get an actual life, you loser. Nah, just kidding. The 725 is still a good option. As we show off just there, like you basically just one shot people at close range and it's very hand like it's very fast handling, very fun to use, just run around and just blow people up basically. Take a nice little pick there and we'll grab the UAV. Always expecting people to come up on us in this particular building here. So our controlling the middle of the map didn't go super great, mostly because of boys with shotguns being very, very dangerous up close. We do get the pick on that guy out on the right hand side of the map, which is always good. We're going to flank around the back here again. But man, this is this prop gun is probably most similar to an AK-47. It does get unlocked in about level 31 on the battle pass, which is not too hard to get to. Like it does take a little while, like it's a little bit of grinding, but you should be able to do it quite quickly. Like it doesn't take super amounts of time to get to level 31, especially if you are playing those. That was not a man. There was a man there though. There was a man there though. See, basically just all my brain power just oozes out as I'm trying to talk to you guys. Basically, I just cannot focus on two things at the same time. I mean, should be able to do this as I do play Call of Duty quite often. You would imagine that I'd be able to talk about it and play it at the same time, but you would be wrong. All right. <laughs> COD timings are some of the best things literally in the world. I think it's this game and Rainbow Six Siege that has some of the worst timings in the world in terms of like, you'll do something and then a second you turn away or look anywhere else, you'll just get blown up. Uh, so you just see that damage range there, the potential for just... Okay, this is fine. If he comes in here, he's going to die. No? Nice. So we're working our three-shot kill range. Basically, we're just trying to get picks here. We are up at the moment by a, a little way. So, I mean, we're not doing an awful lot to help us win here. Oh. I mean, we got 12 of the 60 kills. <laughs> oh, what an awful game to put into a video. But as you can see, with the right attachments, this gun becomes very, very accurate. It does great damage at range still. And you just do a lot, a lot of work with this. And you can get away with some serious gunfights here. Like, you're getting gunfights with M4s and stuff at that kind of range. And you just win. Of course. I mean, this game's going to be over before I have a decent amount of kills. Like, <laughs> That's another one. I was concerned about 
Pretty sure there's going to be a guy here. No? Played the assist. I never like coming in here without a shotgun. It always makes me feel so, so unsafe. There's got to be somebody crossing here somewhere. That was a teammate. Meaning they're probably spawning back here now. So I'm going to pre... No, okay. <laughs> so unfortunate. Oh, I mean, this is going to be a pretty bad game to put into a video, but you know, this is what happens when you try and commentate and play the game at the same time. Also, I forgot, probably forgot to mention, and probably should have mentioned this throughout the video, you can get a two-shot kill. If you've done two headshots, it's a two-shot kill, which is super, super strong. Anyway, we are going to have our final thoughts in just a second on the CR56 AMAX. So in terms of our final thoughts on the CR56 AMAX, we do have a very, very powerful weapon on our hands here. Basically, a two-shot kill if you do land two headshots, which is super, super strong. Three-shot kill at most ranges, up to about 40-ish, 45 meters, which, again, super, super powerful. Decent recoil control with the right attachments, including your compensator and your barrel and your commando forward, which is very, very standard on these assault rifle class setups. I would like to try out the monolithic suppressor just to make sure that it is one of the better attachments for this with that increase to our damage range. But man, this might be the best assault rifle in the game right now. Time to kill rivaling the M4, even improving on it slightly. I'm not 100% sure of the exact stats, but it does kill very, very quickly, especially if you do land those headshots. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this one and it did help you out at all with this particular CR56 AMAX class, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe if you are new around here. I mentioned at the start of the video that we did recently hit 1,900 subscribers overnight. And when we get to 2000, we'll definitely be having a giveaway over on my Discord service. Thank you very much for watching this one. I will see you in the next video. Bye.